Hi, everyone. Uh, this is Montserrat Garibay. I'm the Secretary Treasurer with the Texas AFL CIO. And I'm really excited uh, about today's talk because we want to introduce you to Rim Rimsha. Uh, she's our Texas AFL CIO uh, fellow uh, and she's with Apala. But uh, Rimsha, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Rimsha. I use she, her pronouns. I've been a fellow with the Texas AFL as well as Apala for about the past eight months. I am also a journalist and a community organizer here in Austin, Texas. Yeah, thank you, Rimsha. So Rimsha has been working a lot with the Census 2020, and I wanted to um, interview her so she can tell us a little bit more about the census and what is the census and why is it so important to fill it to fill it out? Right. So the census is essentially a snapshot conducted by the U.S. Census Bureau of where all individuals in the U.S. reside as of April 1st, 2020. Um, it happens every 10 years and responding to the census is mandatory because getting a complete and accurate count of our population is important to serve as the basis of fair political representation, as well as uh, many areas of public life. Great. Yeah. And so we're hearing a lot about you need to fill it out. You need to do it as, long, as fast as you can. Right. And can you tell us a little bit? more of how long is it? Does it take a long time? No, so the census is actually just nine questions and takes about 10 minutes, depending on how many people are in your household. So for example, it would take a little bit longer for someone to fill it out if they were counting themselves as well as three kids versus someone who was just living alone. Mm -hmm. And uh, what are some of the questions that they're asking? So some of the questions asked on the census are your name, address, race, and ethnicity, and whether or not you own or rent a home. And speaking on that, a lot of people, especially undocumented people, are reluctant at times to fill out the census because they fear that the government would be able to use that data against them. But Title 13 actually protects your information, so it is completely confidential. Yeah, for sure. And I think that that's a really important point that uh, we need to share with everybody, right? Um, what are some of the different ways that people can fill out their census? So 2020 census is actually the first time that you can fill it out online at 2020census.gov. And you are also able to fill it out on paper that they mail you or on the phone. And the other cool thing about the census being online is that it is available in 12 different languages. Great, and that's really important for those who English is not their first language. They can actually are able to uh, get the information in their own language. Right. And um, what is the deadline uh, for the census to fill it out? The deadline is September 30th. It was actually cut short by a whole month recently, so make sure you fill it out as soon as possible. Yeah, for sure. And one of the big questions when I talk to, to people is like, do they have, do children, like babies, do they count? Yeah, all children in your household should be counted in the census, including newborns who were born on or before April 1st, 2020. Yeah, that's really important. And also, um, one of the things that I think is really important to point out is uh, that the census, the next time that we're going to have to fill it out, it's going to be 2030. Mm -hmm. So that's 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 10 years right and our communities are changing drastically and if we don't have the resources uh that we need in our hospitals our public schools um our highways then we're gonna be in big trouble so mm -hmm. filling out the census is extremely extremely important uh tell me about what is the texas afl cio doing uh to get people uh, inform about the census and also how, tell, tell us about it. Yeah, so the Texas AFL-CIO has been running a census ambassador phone banking program where we meet every Thursday on Zoom for about an hour and a half to make calls in hard to count communities around Texas, which are mostly union members, undocumented people and people of color. And we want to make sure that those communities in our state are counted in the census. Yeah, so we're gonna put uh, uh, our link of how you can register uh, and how you can be part of this uh, 
great movement of union uh, activists calling each other and reminding them that they need to fill out this, their census and that it's very easy and it's really fast, but that it is our, our uh, responsibility to also share with others the importance of filling out the census. Uh, Rimsha, is there anything else that you would like to share with with people as as a recent college graduate? Why do you why do you invite other younger uh, people to do the census? Yeah, well, I think it's um, really common for a lot of college students not to know exactly where to count themselves in the census. So I ran a training for that to let everyone know that if they are living out of their their homes at a dorm they need to be counting themselves as well yeah for sure all right well uh this was really quick but we wanted to make sure that we get the information to everyone uh remember the census is really important it's every 10 years and it will really make a difference to get counted so our communities can get the resources that they need and you and i can make a difference so we invite you all uh to be a volunteer in our phone banking uh, campaign, uh, but also to tell your family, your friends, your union sisters and brothers to fill it out and that the deadline for the census is September 31st. Well, thank you all so much. And thank you, Rimsha, for everything that you're doing with the Texas AFL-CIO. Thank you.